That's hype bot Michelle flies into fit of rage about Trump, lazy slobs gets ruthless reality check. Michelle Obama is making the rounds again, this time with a personal attack that exceeds all others she s launched at President Donald Trump. She s as arrogant as it gets acting like she s the authority on parenting by her perfect example and worse yet, on fitness and sex appeal as well also using herself as a model for things she s not. The former first lady who seems to refuse to relinquish her role as much as her husband does, gets paid a lot to talk about herself to other people. Rather than sharing constructive insight from her time in the White House, what she learned and can inspire others with, she uses the time to trash the man who replaced her husband and his beautiful wife who took her spot. Michelle has been known to fancy herself as a sex symbol a title she, and only she, would give herself claiming that she s had to struggle with this status all of her life. It s laughable at best, especially now that she s comparing personal aspects about her and Barack to their successors in the White House when there is no comparison. It do s and t seem that she s looked in the mirror for years since deflecting the very attributes about herself and her husband on to the Trumps, equating the president to a parent who lets their kids stay up late, eat candy all day and not follow the rules. In Michelle's metaphor, Barack is the good parent comma Trump is on the other side of that spectrum. She has stepped up her sanctimonious tone typically saved for speaking about her fitness and nutrition to preach about parenting and leadership and how Trump fails at both in comparison to Barack. The Root reports with praise of Michelle for the scathing criticism of Trump and his administration she shared. Michelle Obama has a few choice words about the Trump administration, especially in comparison to her husband's presidency, one that was more like having a responsible parent caring for the household. I think what we see is what happens when we take things for granted comma Obama told Simmons College President Helen Drinan at the Simmons Leadership Conference in Boston Thursday. For the eight years Barack was president, it was like having the good parent at home. The responsible parent the one who told you to eat your carrots and go to bed on time. And then there is the other parent, comma, aka YLS Dotard President. And now we have the other parent. We thought it'd feel fun, maybe it feels fun for now because we can eat candy all day and stay up late, and not follow the rules, comma, the former first lady added, according to People. Obama said it when she sees what Donald Trump has been doing since taking office. She basically has to take a deep sigh, I feel in on that one. Michelle is in for a ruthless reality check by being forced to look in the mirror at what s reality. She considers the eight years her lame duck husband spent destroying the country more admirable than the one year Trump has been in office and fixed everything her husband dumped on him and got America completely back on track. As long as we were using metaphors to convey a point. The reality between these two is that Trump is the dad and Barack is the babysitter. The babysitter was left in charge of watching the kids but was found passed out on the couch, with the house in complete disarray, and the kids running around the neighborhood when the parents came home. Michelle isn't he really one to talk about other people less parenting, even metaphorically, considering she left her kids to be raised by Secret Service and their grandmother while she was in the White House hosting parties for rappers. On the other hand, every single one of Trump's children are exceptionally accomplished in their education and careers. They take after their father just as the Obama daughters take after their mother. Even still, Michelle wasn't he done in her rent against the president. I think about what Ivy learned from my husband, and Ivy learned watching him be a leader, comma, she said. And a lot of what Ivy learned about temperament and patience, that really comes from him. I think he was born with that DNA. What I learned is that as he said, the arc of history is long, and what we re here to do is make a mark. And you do what you do because you know it as the right thing to do, not because you ll get credit for it, or because it says something about your personal legacy. You do the work because you re slowly moving the needle. There are times in history when we feel like you re going backward, but that as part of the growth comma she added. Maybe Michelle lives in a world of delusion as her safe space. She says things that are specific to things her and her husband are notorious for, such as wanting to take credit for everything and leaving a legacy proclaims the complete opposite. 
If it helps her to cope with the destruction that her husband caused this country, then so be it. She is not convincing anyone that Barack is a dad who tells their kids to eat their veggies and Trump lets kids run amok with no accountability. accountability.